We don't care. The United States and NATO, we do not care how many Ukrainians die. Not civilians, not women, not children, not soldiers. We do not care. We are, it's, it's, it's become a great football game. Uh, you know, we've got our team, they've got our team, rah, rah. We want to get the biggest score and run it up. And, uh, you know, we don't care how many, how many of our players get, uh, get uh, crippled on the, on the playing field uh, as long as we win. Now, we are shipping fantastic quantities of weapons. I don't think it's ultimately going to change the outcome. I think that uh, I think that Russia will prevail. Uh, the Ukrainians are in a very awkward strategic position. President Putin made a desperate effort to stop the march towards war. Back in, in December of 2021, he went so far as to put specific written proposals on the table with NATO, peace proposals, to to defuse what was coming about. Because at this point, Ukraine was massing troops to attack the Donbass. NATO just blew it off, just dismissed it, uh, never took it seriously, never went into serious negotiations. At that point, Putin, seeing that uh, that armed Ukrainians with weapons to kill Russian troops were literally on their borders, decided he had to strike first. Ukrainian forces had about 250,000. The Russians had perhaps 160,000. I don't think Ukraine has anything to do with the decision about peace or war. I think the decision about peace or war is made in Washington, D.C. As long as we want the war to continue, we will fight that war using Ukrainians as proxies, and we will fight it to the last Ukrainian death.